on today's episode of Geek Beat, we're going to open garages with our phones. Welcome to Geek Beat. Hey everybody, I'm Lewis, and on today's episode of Geek Beat, we're going to connect our garage to the internet using an electric imp development board. You can get the full parts list for this build at geekbeat.tv slash internet garage door. The electric imp is a development board that looks like an SD card, however it's actually a Wi-Fi chip. The first thing you need to do is go to the electric imp website and sign up for an account. Next we're going to sign in and go straight to the electric imp development environment. Then we'll create a new model called Garage. Now we need to go to the Geekbeat TV GitHub page and copy the agent code and paste it into the agent section of the imp development environment. We'll then copy the device code from the GitHub page and copy that into the device section of the imp development environment. Finally, we'll change the password on line 50 of the agent code. Now it's time to work with the hardware. First, we need to download the Electric Imp app on either the Google Play or Apple App Store. Next, we need to sign in with our Electric Imp account and select the Wi-Fi network we want to connect to. Finally, we will press Blink Up and hold the Electric Imp and April Breakout up to the phone. And when it blinks green, that means you're connected to Wi-Fi. Now we're going to cut two female jumper wires in half and strip three of the ends. We'll take the end of one jumper wire and solder two jumper wires to that to make a Y split. To protect that solder joint, I added a bit of heat shrink tubing as well. We also need to solder the male pin headers onto the April breakout board. Now we're going to go back to the IMP IDE and assign the IMP to the garage model. Hit build and run. And copy the agent URL for later. Now we need to go to the garage and connect the electric imp to an outlet. Then we will connect the Y cable we just soldered from the ground pin on the electric imp to the two ground pins on the relay board. Next, connect a female to female jumper wire from pin 5 on the imp to in 1 on the relay module and another jumper wire from pin 9 to in 2. We'll then connect the VCC pin on the relay board to V in on the imp. Finally, we're going to connect Garage 1 to the two screw terminals on the relay board. Make sure you connect it to the pins highlighted in the diagram. To connect this wire to the garage, we just need to open our garage up, find the connection terminals, and figure out which two trigger the garage open. Once we have that figured out, we just have to screw the two wires in. The second garage door is almost the same. We just need to run a longer wire that runs from the bottom two pins on the relay board to the other garage door opener. Now that we're done programming, connecting, and soldering everything up, let's go outside and test it out. Okay, so to test and make sure that this works, I'm going to close the garage door with my regular opener, and then I'm going to open it back up again with my phone so I could get in without my old garage door opener system. So I'm going to take this garage door opener, I'm just going to press the close button, to throw it in the bag and now all I have to do is go to the garage door opener's website put in my password and then just press the garage door one button and boom I'm in the house thank you so much for watching today's episode of Geek Beat and we'll see you in the next one